Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream, and I'm going to do your May the 13th, just for today, in a meditation. Hope you're having a wonderful morning. Let's go ahead and get into the meditation. The title of the meditation for today is Onward on the Journey. Onward on the Journey, May 13th. The progression of recovery is a continuous uphill journey. That comes from the basic text, page 83. The longer we stay clean, the steeper and narrower our path seems to become. But God doesn't give us more than we can handle. No matter how difficult the road becomes, no matter how narrow, how winding the turns, there is hope. That hope lies in our spiritual progression. If we keep showing up at meetings and staying clean, life gets, well, different. The continual search for answers to life's ups and downs can lead us to question all aspects of our lives. Life isn't always pleasant. This is when we must turn to our higher power with even more faith. Sometimes all we can do is hold on tight, believing that things will get better. In time, our faith will produce understanding. We will begin to see the bigger picture of our lives. As our relationship with our higher power unfolds and deepens, acceptance becomes almost second nature. No matter what happens as we walk through recovery, we rely on our faith in a loving higher power and continue onward. Just for today, I accept that I don't have all the answers to life's questions. Nonetheless, I will have faith in the God of my understanding and continue on the journey of recovery. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of Serenity Prayer. Moment of silence now, please. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference just for today, please and thank you. Onward on the journey. The thing about being on a journey is that it's progressive. Generally speaking, when we think about going somewhere, just in the sense or the definition of the word going means that where my two feet are right now, I'm going to proceed to move forward to get to what? Wherever I'm going. There are times that where I'm headed is behind me, right? So if I'm facing north, there are times where where I'm trying to go is south. But that should just be in a very generic, general sense. Where I'm trying to go should never spiritually be backwards. Because in the going backwards or going back to where I just left, spiritually speaking, in and of itself, is an acknowledgement that I don't have closure. I have not processed or surrendered to the process of recovery and the lessons that come with life. I hope I'm making sense. I think I am. In a spiritual sense, we move forward, 
Sometimes we become stagnant. And sometimes we go backwards. You've heard people say two steps forward, three back. One step forward, two back. That process of going backwards spiritually in and of itself is a sort of relapse. Because we talk about recovery being spiritual, mental, physical, and emotional. Right? We talk about it having these different aspects of it. And so when I talk about my spiritual journey, I'm not saying that the road doesn't become difficult. I'm not saying that it doesn't take different turns, sharp turns, long turns. I'm not saying that. I don't run out of petroleum, out of gas. I'm not saying that. Because I may need to actually stop along the way and refresh my gas tank. Fill back up. Because I'm getting too low, right? The halt is taking place in my life. And the fuel that I have in this tank this reservoir of faith and gratitude is running low. So I'm not saying I don't stop and pull over on the side of the road to refresh myself for the journey. I'm not even saying I don't have a rear view mirror. I do. I have one in the car and I have two on the side. allows me to be conscientious of the things of my past sneaking back up on me. It allows me to have a spiritual view of the things that I've written about in my fourth step and have covered in my fifth step and have said in my sixth step that I'm entirely ready for all of that, the exact nature, all those character defects. I am entirely ready to be done with them. And I've asked God in my seventh step, as humbly as I can, I can't, I can't, I can't do this on my own. I need you to remove these fruits of my character defects from me, my shortcomings, the areas of my life where I keep falling short. It helps me to do all of that. And it comes slowly, but it does come. When these things come up in life, I need to have my faith in God turned up. People are always talking about, let's turn up. <laughs> well, we was lit. Okay. Get lit with recovery. Turn up your program. Hold on tight during the difficult times. And believe that if you've come this far, more than likely, like 98% of the time, you could probably guarantee that you're going to come through whatever is facing you. Hold on to what's been working. The stuff that hasn't been working, let it go. For some of us, nothing's working. We don't know what to let go. We don't know what's been working because nothing's been working. We've been doing everything in our own self-will.
And it's gotten us. <laughs> the meditation the other day, you say, our best thinking got us here. And that's not meant to be shaming or demeaning. It's meant to say, maybe let's try something different and let's really surrender. To recovery is the solution, not the problem. Recovery is not the problem. It's the solution. But faith develops over time. Faith is like a muscle. The more you work it, the stronger it becomes. Muscle can develop automatic memory. I guarantee you today, if I start to jog, and I typically can run a mile on my worst healthy day. I am built to be able to jog a mile, no matter what. Cold, I can jog a mile. I guarantee you, if I begin to do any type of leg work, I could do the stairs in this house, 13 of them up and down, up and down. If I did that every day, the muscle, right? My quadriceps would become humongous. That's because of all the leg work I've actually done over the years. The muscle memory is built for power. It's built for strength, right? And duration. So not only can I move fast, but I can move long and fast, right? That's, that's muscle memory. We want the muscle memory of our faith to be like that. The moment I go to exercise it, it automatically pops into its full strength. Automatically. But if you don't practice it, see, for me, my faith is not, my faith is not about the things that I know I can handle. My faith is about, well, let me add this. My faith is not about the things I know I can handle. My faith is not about the things I'm choosing not to handle. It's more about the things maybe I don't believe I can handle on my own. Because if I believed that I could handle them on my own, I would have done them. So faith for me is about applying this muscle to difficult situations for me. And sometimes I need my faith for others because they have none. But over time, if you continue to practice it, you will realize you don't have to have all the answers. What you have to have is faith in a God of your own understanding. And continue to move forward, not backwards, on your journey of recovery. The only time I'm revisiting my past is to pull the lesson out of it to encourage me to continue to move forward, to continue to make the right decisions. Or I may use it in a meeting to share on topic so that hopefully what I'm sharing can reach another person and benefit them. But even I'm not in control of that. My name is Mighty Stream. I'm sure that there was something from here today that you were able to benefit from. I'm sure.
because this is a very powerful message about the progression of recovery being a continuous uphill journey, not a downhill journey, not a backhill journey, side to side, but an uphill journey moving forward, moving onward in faith. That no matter what, no matter what, things will get better if we remain consistent. My name is Mighty Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you today. Have a beautiful day on purpose.